Hey guys, welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal. We're going to be trying out a new game called Perfect World Mobile. Now, I'm super excited about this video because they're actually sponsoring us to play it, but also I grew up playing the PC version or Perfect World International and it just brings back like so many memories of growing up where my parents were saying, hey, get off the video games, they're never gonna get you anywhere. And now we're playing Perfect World Mobile. Now I'm actually gonna be playing it on a PC emulator called Moomoo, but you guys can actually download this directly to your phones. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description for you guys below so that way you can just go ahead, click on that. It'll take you straight to where you need to go so that way you can download it and get it for yourselves, okay? Absolutely free, so make sure you guys don't miss out on that. Now, the developers, like I said, since they are sponsoring this video, they want me to showcase a couple specific things. So they did give me a uh, like a boosted account just playing on a test server so it doesn't affect anybody else's rankings and stuff like that. And I have my character. He is currently level 79. And of course, the name is Claytano. But a little bit later on in the video, I'll show you guys like the whole character creation uh, system. It's super fun, very customizable, a bunch of different classes to choose from as well. And uh, I think you guys would really enjoy just making your own character itself. But let's go ahead and click on my current character. I'm going to go ahead and enter into the world that is perfect. A little uh, dad joke pun there, if you will. All right, guys. So we just got into the game. And before we start moving around and stuff, I want to kind of familiarize familiarize you guys with the user interface just that you can kind of you know stay on track with me so I have the joystick on the bottom left corner this is gonna move your character around and it's super smooth you also have you know you can just click and drag and move the camera around to however you want it so like if you're running around you could just say okay I want to run this way etc you have your skills at the bottom right corner behind the camera you also have your quest log in the top left you have this button here, which opens up all of your like enhancement menus, your achievements, skill trees, guilds, rankings, all that good stuff. And then you have your shops, events, dungeons in the top hand corner. I guess it's a corner right here. You have your map up there and then you have your, you have your health and mana gauges up here as well. So one thing though, real quick, once you guys download the game, and between now and November 11th, if you get to level 12, go ahead and put one of these codes into your game. I'm gonna put them up on the screen as well so you guys can see them. But put one of these codes into this menu and then click on redeem code. This is gonna give you an exclusive gift just because you guys are watching this video as well. But there's one thing that I haven't actually mentioned on the screen, which is one of, I think, the coolest things about the game is that you can actually fly. Yeah, how sick is that? So you can ascend, so it just flies you up. You can descend, so it flies you down. Uh, and just the fact that you have the freedom to go wherever you want, not only just on like a lateral, but you also have a vertical freedom uh, in the game. It just honestly is like so freeing and relaxing to me. And you could take this thing up super high. Uh, you can also like get a little boost and you start flying much faster as well. And you guys think this is as high as I can go? Nah, baby, we can bring this thing way up. And you just get like a nice view of the city. This is Archisar or Arkasar city. And uh, once you reach a certain level as well, you can start flying to different towns uh, just, by, just by flying. Now we're actually up into the clouds now. And you can see that like this is just there's just so much more to this game than, than meets the eye. Um, but yeah, this basically just keeps going up and, and it reaches out at a cap, but let's just, let's just go back down. All right, so we're descending back down into the city now, but let's actually fly over here because there's also something I wanted to show you guys on this side. So if we head over here, now you know how you have your normal quests and stuff that you can click on and like complete Another cool thing about this game is that there's actually these things called hidden quests. So if you go up to an NPC and maybe perform like a, uh, I don't know, we're a, around a bunch of meditators, why don't we just go ahead and also let's join them, shall we? 
So it looks like it spawned this NPC that is going to give us maybe something cool to do. So let's go ahead and speak to him, see what he has to say. First, you need to go up to the top of the four giant Vara statues and light up the light of four boding, foreboding on each of the on each of their heads, I'll provide instructions on the way, but you'll have to go. All right, so I think he wants us to head over this way. So I'm gonna fly. Yeah, here we go. All right, we got one Amberstone and we got the warning light. Now let's fly over to this side. I'm sure it's gonna be the same thing, right? Yes. All right, we've got an idol on as well. Also lit that warning light. And I believe we just go to the four statues here, which is, I think, pretty cool. All right, another warning light. And then I believe this is the last one before we head back over to the prophet. All right, I'm gonna head back over. I think there was just four, and I'm pretty sure I hit all of them. So let's head back down. Yeah, he's he's ready for me. Uh, perfect, with the lights of the foreboding lighting up every corner of Arkansas City, all wrongdoers will have nowhere to hide. Soon, they will all be exiled or killed. Oh, okay. Well, I got a Gauzy Finch Shard from this. And what does this do? Collect four of them to combine Arrow Gear, Gauzy Finch 70, and Crucible. Explore the world. Nice. So this, uh, these hidden quests gave you some pretty rare items and, and good stuff. And there's a whole bunch of them. There's not just one of them. There's, you know, there's, they're all over the place. So that's up for you guys to find as well. But I don't know about you. I want to go kill some stuff. All right, so just up over this ridge here, there's some creeps, and it looks like we have some lake mirror sirens. And you see all of my skills started popping up here, so I'm just gonna try to like kite it a little bit and hope for the best. He's actually, oh wait, Lord Coon. Ooh, this looks like a, a boss, actually. I wonder if this is a little bit better here. Let's see if we can throw some stuff to it. Yeah, so this is actually gonna be pretty difficult, looks like. See, the HP isn't really going down too far. Let's actually take this to the sky here. It makes it easier for me to uh, attack as an archer. For me, at least it gives me like a little bit more mobility. All right, so using these skills, we're actually bringing a couple other units with us because some of them are, are AoE. But yeah, this is definitely a pretty powerful boss. Even though he's level 60, you can tell he just has way more attack and way more HP. We do have some... Uh, potions that are healing us though, thankfully. Uh, but it's pretty cool though that you can actually fight and fly at the same time. I think it opens up a lot of possibilities for, you know, potential dungeons where you have to fight things that are in the air. Um, I believe you could actually even fight underwater too, which we can go try out just a little bit here after we finish this guy off. Lord Kunlun. You just hit some basic attacks here and he's still actually hitting us. Just a couple more here. We kind of flew out of range a little bit. All right, easy, easy. Let's go down. We still have this guy fighting us too, so might as well polish this guy off here. Some of the skills, um, like I said, hit the other units around him, so we gotta be careful about it. Maybe just hit him with some of these basic attacks. I'm kind of like mashing buttons right now a little bit. Got some crits in there and stuff. Let's see if we can pop a couple skills on him real quick. Maybe uh, this one. All right, one more hit. Two more hits. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, so we do have some creeps underwater as well. We have the lake monster right here. Only level 21, so we should be able to, yeah, just hit it with a couple hits and it's done. The Merman Warrior, level 50, a little bit harder here, so we'll hit him with some skills 
as well. Just want to show you guys the combat underwater. I think it's pretty cool. And like I said, just kind of like with the flying around, um, it does open up a lot of possibilities for like dungeon battles and underwater, uh, maybe even like guild wars and stuff like that. I think would be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head back out of here now. Get away from these guys. All right, so as we are flying away and getting out of that situation over there, um, I mentioned dungeons a little earlier, um, but I wanna kinda go into a little bit more detail about those. So if we click on events, you can see that there's so many different types of dungeons. There's, uh, you know, these are, these are all of them, but they break them down categorically. So you can go to equipment dungeons, you can go to experience dungeons, contribution, there's uh, dungeons that you run with your guild, with your friends, minimum of like three people that you team up with and and go fight bosses and stuff. It, it's, it just, I mean, it, it sounds like it's gonna be amazing. I haven't actually ever done one yet, but I really want to. So like this one, for example, requires 24 players, level 50, uh, and obviously if you have like the recommendation uh, requirements, you have a higher chance of beating the dungeon and this says you need two tanks six supports 16 dps 16 dps so this is like quite a bunch of people that are all fighting together for the same thing and this yeah enter by guild leader so this is more of a, a guild dungeon i would assume and for me personally i don't know about you guys but i'm typically like a dps style person like that's the kind of class that i typically play i would love to get into a dungeon with a bunch of you guys so if you guys do want to play along with me and maybe like join a guild together we could totally do that i'm super down for it and i'll actually just go ahead and create my own character on like the normal server after this in just a little bit so that way we can just like you know mess around you guys can see like my name my server and everything that way we can all play together and i'll be the dps class i need some tanks i need some supports go ahead and comment down below what you guys will play as well so that way we can get like a nice little party going. So I'm super excited to go make my own character from the start. But before we do that, there's one other thing that I want to show you on this account first, and it's the like the auction house system. So it really has its own economy built in where you can actually take the drops that you get from dungeons and other items and stuff and you can sell them in the auction house. Just another really cool quick feature that I want to showcase to you guys. But let's go ahead log out of this, go and create our own character, and I uh, will mess around for that for just a little bit, okay? All right, so this is definitely my favorite part of any, any game, just creating my own character, like putting me into the game is always like, I don't know, my, my favorite thing. Is, is it weird? I don't think it's weird, right? So anyway, we have different classes, we have different races, we have the winged elf, we have humans, we have untamed and like just for example, if we click on Untamed, I want you guys to see what this looks like. It's pretty dope, right? So this is a Barbarian, and I'm guessing this is like the tank class. He looks really cool. Like if I was into tank classes, I, would, I think I'd be pretty excited about this. So that's the Untamed. Let's go ahead to Winged Elves. Okay, all right. Hello. Now, she's the cleric, winged elf, right? Healing and assist, life uh, is pretty good. Team support, obviously that's like the best. Hurt, I'm guessing is like damage. And then we have the male version of the winged elf. And this is, this is the character that we were playing on previously. This is the archer. Decent hurt. Life actually is, is not too bad. Team support is like, okay, but the hurt, he's definitely a DPS character, right? And that's the character that we are already messing around on. So let's go to the last one here, which is humans. And humans, found fathers and pact sealers, destined rulers of all. Sounds like my kind of class. So again, we have the male and female versions. And okay, pretty sick. She's a wizard, so her hurt is super high. Her life is lower than that of the archer. Uh, her team support isn't really that great. Her diff's not that great either. 
Uh, and then we have the male and female version of the wizard. So humans have different classes within them. So we have wizards, we have male and female. And then for this, oh, this looks pretty cool too. We have the Blade Master, which is also high on the hurt list. But I think, I think I want to go with the Wizard. Like that hurt, like I said, DPS is my thing, guys. I kind of like that face the most. This is not bad. I'm going to go with this preset to start things off. Uh, okay, and we, oh wow, we can adjust like a lot of stuff. So we can give him wide cheekbones, or we can like kind of keep him <laughs> kind of, kind of like, you know, sort of slimmer like mine, I suppose. Uh, we can make them super high, super low. I think somewhere like right in there should be good. Cheek width, maybe something like that. So he's not like super slim face, but like, you know, fit looking. We could also do his chin. Wow, we can, oh my gosh, we can make him a crimson chin, can't we? Dude, imagine this with the chin length. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's settle down. All right, very, uh, very poise chin, right? It's not it's not weak, but it's not a super sh strong chin either. Yeah. What do you guys think? Look anything like me? I don't even know if I was really trying to make it look like me, but Yep, definitely going this hair. I guess I can look through all the other hair hairstyles, but I always go with like short hair. That's just I mean, this is this is good stuff right here. Hair color Maybe go with like a little lighter brownish. Yes, this is looking really good. Facial hair, I think this kind of, like he has such a, he has such a pretty face that I don't wanna, you know, I, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. Okay, let's take a look at the pupils, yeah. Oh wow, you can actually make two different eye colors, serious? Oh. Oh, and you could adjust what they look like too. Oh my god. You could give him shotting gun. Or you could just give him one. Sh oh no, you can't just give him one. I was like, imagine giving him one shotting gun. What is these? Oh, dude, this is cool. Let's just go. Let's just do this. Details. Oh my gosh, the customizations never stop. All right. Name is Claytona. You guys can search it up. Add me as a friend in game. All right, this is like a little cutscene here as we get thrown into the game. Oh, look at my character. All right, guys. I'm actually gonna stop the video right here, though. I know I'm leaving you like on the edge of suspense, but you guys are gonna have to go play the game for yourselves. Also, if you want to see more perfect world mobile content, which I would love to make for you guys, go ahead and comment down below as well. Make sure you thumb up this video. And again, huge shout out to Perfect World Mobile for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget about these wonderful codes to enter into your game after you get to level 12. And aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay soupy, don't be potatoes, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.